Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Frank Turner. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Flint Mayor Sheldon Neely condemning the gun violence happening over the weekend. Flint police say there were 12 reported shootings with at least 12 people injured. Six of those shootings at a pop-up party near Holwood Plaza. Officers making arrests and recovering firearms saying more than 1,000 people attended. The other six shootings are not believed to be connected to the party. Of the 12 victims, 10 are listed in good condition, one in serious, the other is in critical condition. Republicans finalizing a new stimulus bill they plan to unveil today, which includes another round of $1,200 checks. The White House and Senate Republicans say their stimulus plan would not renew the full unemployment insurance enhancement. Instead, they're encouraging Americans to return to work, arguing that the previous plan paid some people more than they made on the job. The Republican plan also says the moratorium on evictions and tax credits for small businesses and restaurants will be extended. The Democratic House is pushing for a more generous stimulus plan as well as enhanced unemployment benefits. Mott Community College developing a five-phase plan to reopen college facilities to some in-person activities for the fall semester. The school offering a mix of online, hybrid, and in-person course delivery options for students. A minimum of 50% will be online. The five-phase approach means most of the school's workforce and students will continue to work and learn remotely for the summer months. And now here's meteorologist Chris Eastlick with a look at your forecast. Hi there, Frank. Another hot and humid one for today should be right around the mid to upper 80s in many spots later this afternoon. Humidity levels remain high as well. I think a lot of our values between about 85 and 87 later today could be a little cooler off to the north and west towards Houghton Lake. Temperatures the next five days also get a little bit cooler tomorrow. Not too much different from today, but Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. It's back to the low 80s before warming up just a touch on Saturday into the lower and middle 80s. The best part of all, the humidity should be going down later this week as well. Well, I think we'll start to feel a lot better late tonight into the morning hours of tomorrow. May go back up again briefly on Wednesday, not nearly as humid as today, and then it's right back down to the pleasant category for the rest of the week. Your first one five hour by hour forecast shows plenty of showers developing later this afternoon as a cold front sinks south through the area. Doesn't look like the scattered showers will be all that widespread, but a chance nonetheless. It is important to know that those who are hoping for rain, uh, definitely the possibility is there that you could miss out today with that scattered coverage. As we go into tonight, we expect to clear our skies and should start tomorrow off on a very sunny note. The drought monitor does have moderate drought in parts of the thumb, so we could really use some rain there and much of the area is considered abnormally dry, so every rain chance moving forward is very important. Seven day forecast, beautiful day tomorrow with just a slight chance of rain. Same is true on Wednesday. We're in the 80s for the rest of the work week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.